especially against Abigail. Oh, this is, oh, couldn't combo it. That was interesting. Wonder why that didn't combo. Oh, he dashed into a charging heavy punch. Oh, that hurt. I know you know. I know you know when you see this screen. Yeah, baby. It's the commentary practice of the road to evil, whatever you want to call it. It's your boy, B Heard, aka Brian, aka Prince, aka Prince Vegeta without the hating. Whatever you want to call me, Dragon Ball Fighters is two weeks away. It's in the air, you can you can smell it. You know, I don't know about them servers, can't really smell those, but that's another day for another topic. Um as you see on the screen today, this matches we're practicing commentary on is the one and great only Cool Kid 93. Uh, shouts out to this man. This man's a dope person, man. And shouts out to his wife, Joy. I think it, it, that's a relationship goes as much as it gets in the FGC. Someone who comes to your matches and supports you. And it's weird, too, because it's like they're the yin and the yang. Cool kids, cool, calm, collected. That's cool kid. And enjoys like the passionate, fiery one. But I think it's a good balance. I think. Uh, it's amazing what she does. Hopefully one day I get to meet both these people. I just follow them on Twitter and I just support them. And Cool Kid's very dope. He's a great Abigail player. He took uh, Red Red Bull Proving Grounds in Boston this year, last year, and I thought that was amazing. And I was I was happy. I, I mean I was literally cheering for him. Like you would have thought he was my son or something like that because I was so happy he was winning. Uh, <laughs> He plays Abigail, he has a dope Rashid as well, and I, those characters didn't even really get touched. I don't even think they got nerfed, really. I just think they got kind of left alone. If anything, Abigail got a boost. So Cool Kid might really be dangerous in Season 3. And Season 3 starts tomorrow, so this is uh, AE Eve, if you will. I had to do some commentary practice on this guy's matches, because I think he's going to be the sleeper pick of uh, 2018. He's really a good player. Uh, nice dude. And he's trying, he's trying to quit his job. So I'm definitely going to leave his Twitch in there. Uh, I don't know if he has a YouTube, but I'm going to leave his Twitch and his Twitter on there. So go follow that, man. Go support that, man. And that's what the series is all about. I'm trying to show you dope play dope FTC people because I feel like there's not enough people in this world who tell someone that they're dope and you're doing a good job. There's always somebody to tell you you suck. There's, someone, there's always someone to tell you you're terrible. Why are you doing this? this kind of thing. But there's not enough people who tell you like yo this is a dope person keep doing whatever you do the, the stuff you're doing cool kid keep doing that and that's from be hurt i don't know what that if that holds any weight but i'm telling you you're dope you're a good player keep believing in yourself and he plays on pad you know what i'm saying um so and that's what the series is about is either a you're a viewer and you support me so i'm going to commentate your matches to get better uh b I think you're a dope person and a dope person in FGC and you have to spotlight those people because those people are what keeps it going. Those people are who you want to be fans of. And C, and C, um, I think they're good players. Like, if you're a good player, I'm going to commentate your matches too. It's one of those three. It has to be. So without further ado, we got a couple of matches here with Abigail, that uh, cool kid uh, is playing, obviously. Gets Ed, I'm going to say Ed, Free, and the Pizza. Some of the simplest names I had to say ever in a commentary practice. So let's start these matches. Cool Kid uh, just saved enough money to go to Frosty too, so that's dope. So shout out to him and shout out to the people that saved him enough money. I don't know about my situation with Frosty, so if you see this video before then, please make a donation to the United Negro Foundation, and that is me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get there, but hopefully we'll find a way. Super Diamond and Cool Kid's a master, so all the pressure is on him. And he doesn't really gain much, maybe 10 points from this matchup. Don't worry. Oh, we're going with basic, basic, super suit, Urian. And then, see, I think this is the best. The, the Abigail with Dreads, I'm okay with the Abigail with Dreads. You gotta go Abigail with Dreads. Let's we'll see how they start off this match. Oh, flip already. Okay, Cool Kid. Trying to pressure him early. Neutral jump by Ed, nothing doing. Good hit. Try to hit sweep him, but too far out of range. Got the counter into a throw, and he has the corner. This is a bad situation. The low checks with the crouching light kick into an Abigail punch, and the pressure. EX. I don't know. Not enough to stun, but one more guess. Nice throw escape. Safest option. Aegis reflector as a reaction. Great reaction. Headbutt. Got out of there. Another Aegis. 
Try to go with the combo. Well, or if anything, worst case scenario, he got out of there with air knee smash. Yo, cool kid just challenged. Activation. This should do it here. Yeah. As soon as you activate, you get that big damage. Damage. As, uh, Yikes would say. Shout out to the young man. Yikes. One of my favorite commentators as well. Round two, see how Ed has to react to his back dashes. I think every Urian player does that back dash into fireball. Rolls in with the crouching heavy kick. Oh, try to shoulder? EX shoulder. I don't know if that was what he wanted, but I mean, he got out of the corner, so best case scenario there. Tries to check with the jabs. Cool kid just walking him down. That is scary. When you have a cool kid, Abigail, just walking you down and just consistent. Look, getting swept, or not swept, but maybe crouching medium kick. Getting checked and getting countered and still walking down. This is scary. Oh, runs into the punch. EX Abigail punch. Has the corner. Another one. Just checking him with the lows and then it goes into the target combo with the uh, light punches. Abigail flip. Nice EX headbutt to a shoulder. Back at neutral. And then back dashes. Keep, he wants to keep his distance his way. But he still he has ages. His two ages ready. Oh, off the wall into a combo. Abigail punch. One more guess and another command grab, and that will do it. Woo! That was filthy. Abigail wins. That was dirty. I just like the persistence by uh, Cool Kid. Cool Kid was like, "Look, you can hit, you can hit these, you know, these crouching kicks all you want." I'm going to get in. And he kept getting counter, counter, counter. But the guy was so scared of Cool Kid's Abigail where he just, he wouldn't even try anything like this. Like, all right, I'm getting counters, but I'm not nothing to activate into a combo. Now, that was a super dive in, Urian. I'm kind of curious to see how Scotty Free Free is going to play this because uh, none personal Scotty Free Free. None personal to Ed either. Uh, you're platinum, so you might be more aggressive. You might be more timid. You might have more holes in your game. It's going to be interesting to see how this Urian plays it rather than the other Urian. I'm going with the blonde Urian, I feel it. And a Christmas stage, too. Uh, both playing on PS4. How's everybody doing in the chat? If you're watching this, if you want to be a part of it live, twitch.tv slash Prince here, be her, ah, Prince be her too. I usually never mess up the gimmick, but I mess up there. Players mess up. That's all about the series is. It's about getting better. This is like my 56 one too. So cut, cut me some slack. I gotta grow. That's what I'm trying to do. Scotty Free Free's not there. Oh, I guess he was. Nice jab text. To his shoulder. Oh, try to parry there. I don't know what cool kid. Oh, got the throw. Facing the corner too, Scotty Free Free. Oh, got hit, kind of hit him with a fierce. Nothing doing. Oh, you're in a bad position, Scotty. Yeah, that's a punish. Great punish by uh, Cool Kid. EX shoulder. Nice throw. I didn't know you could throw him out of that. That's it. Guess he doesn't have throw in this. Close to getting stunned. Scotty Free Free looking very solid. Try to go for the parry then, the B skill. That is uh, Abigail's B skill. But parry high and low. You didn't know. Target call to activation, keep it safe. Hey, just, oh, interesting to go high. And then what that B skill is, is to keep a hint of armor on. Now, you're probably going to need that, especially against Abigail. Oh, this is, oh, couldn't combo it. That was interesting. I wonder why that didn't combo. Oh, he dashed into a charging heavy punch. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. He charged right into it. That had to hurt. All right, go in there this time. Okay. Oh, nice cross up to Abigail punch. Goes low. I like that. Crush counter. I think that's the safest option. Coat and this is stun. So one more combo should do it here. Because Cool Kid has ball. Oh, oh, that was interesting. Wonder what happened there. And I like how he's going high because you can challenge Abigail's. Yeah, see? Instead of going low, that was very smart. You know, Scotty Free Free had a game plan. I feel like he knew how to play Abigail, but this is it. Activation. Super in play. GG's no re. And shout out to the person who followed me. That was random. <laughs> Abigail, Abigail wins. wins. Cool kill, Abigail. Very solid as ever. I definitely feel like Scotty Free Free had uh, more experience against Abigail than uh, 
um, Ed did. Because when Ed was playing, he just couldn't really get no offense going. So, like, even when he got, like, three or four counter hits in a row and just was kind of hesitant to do something. So, uh, you know, kudos to Cool Kid. That one. Now, the pizza. That's a great name. Playing Alex. And I can't wait to see how Season 3 Alex is uh, going to play. So, this should be an interesting matchup. Going a uh, third strike, Alex, too. I like it. See how Cool Kid plays this matchup as well. And yeah, man, I definitely think you should follow Cool Kid, especially on the Switch, if you want to see good Al Abigail gameplay. I don't know if he's going to switch from the first beat trigger, but it'd be interesting to see what he does with the second beat trigger as far as Rasheed, because I think Rasheed's second beat trigger is actually really good. So. Kind of curious to see which feature he plays with. All right, but back to the match. Pizza, kind of fitting in the pizza mode. Hit him with a crouching heavy kick to start. That was kind of bold by uh, Cool Kid. Nice jump in. Try to hit him for crouching heavy. Pizza's been very patient here. Oh, you don't want to get hit with that standing heavy punch by uh, Cool Kid. Oh, parried. Ooh. Felt like he could have got more out of that, but I don't know. Maybe that was just the, the way it landed. I'm not saying cool kid's not good enough to get more. I'm just saying. I just thought, you know what I mean. Try to go over the stomp. I think EX stomp is safe on block, but not not regular stomp. So that was activation to keep it safe. Oh, with the parry! Oh, try to go for the command grab. Both of them try to go for the EX command grab. There's nothing doing. Great counter. Oh, and the flip got him, and then that curve. That's a uh, cool kid's meaty. And that's actually not a bad option for me. He just throws it out twice. The uh, crouching uh, the light kicks, and they work every single time. Because I don't think people think to block low. I think they think either to block high or attack. And I feel like Cool Kid knows that. Because every time he's taking attack. Now, why would you move the hot? If you saw these two people fighting, why would you move the hot dog stand closer? I just noticed that. Oh, nice. Woo, what a whiff punish. The back dash into a whiff punish. That was beautiful by Cool Kid. That's full bar and a V reversal. But, yep, there's activation. Oh, mistimes it. Pizza, what are you doing? Try to go for the slash. That's supposed to guard break, but I don't think he held it long enough. And, oh, oh I thought Cool Kid had a punish. Oh, I would see. I would have activated it right there. I, would, I mean, I would have done super right there. So he's normal. I just, I just, yeah, I felt like he should have done super right there, and then he would have been at the same health with no bars. I feel like uh, Cool Kid would have had to play it different, but a pizza just didn't take advantage. As solid as it gets, Cool Kid is just a smooth brother. Uh, he's a dope person. Uh, I wish that man nothing but respect and power. I hope he kills it this season. I hope I get to meet him this season. And shouts out to Joy for holding his man down. That is dope. That is admirable. However you say that word. But yeah, man. I'm going to leave Cool Kid's Twitter, his Twitch. Go follow that, man. Go support that, man. But tell him Be Heard Central because I want my credit. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And if you, yes, you, want your matches commentated on by moi. As practice, look, I'm practicing. This is like my sixth or seventh video. After a hundred, all right, yeah, you can take me if you want. Oh, you're supposed to know this frame, Dad. You're supposed to know this, Dad. Da, da, da. Fair enough. But if you want your matches commentated on, leave your CFN in below. But obviously, you gotta be a subscriber. You can't just, you can't just leave your CFN and go. Nah, nah, it, nah, nah. That's not what we're not doing. And yeah, I'll commentate your matches. So all right, till then, I'm out. Bye. I need water.